It's the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day today and women around the world will gather on bridges in 48 countries calling for an end to war. Singer and campaigner Annie Lennox will be joining the march in London on the Millennium Bridge later today and she's in our central London studio and joins us now. We're backing International Women's Day here at Sky News. We've got an all-female line-up today. But what for you is the key message, do you think? I think that there's just so much still to be done. You know, we're accustomed to the benefits that we've received from inheritance from our great-grandmothers who fought to give us freedoms in the suffragette movement and so. We tend to take these things for granted and there's so much still to do. And basically, I think that the, the idea of today being the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day, we really need to galvanise and we really need to focus on the fact that there is still so much disparity and there's still so much to be done before we're anywhere near equal. I mean, some people may dismiss it and say, do you know what, it's, it's just not relevant for them. And what for you are the worst instances of the types of inequality that women face today? Well, I mean, if you look at uh, women representation in Parliament, in terms of uh, how much money we have, you know, in terms of earning power, the disparity is so huge. And when I actually, particularly for me, because I've been to developing countries where I've seen that women are still so far from the bottom rung of the ladder in terms of uh, reproductive health care, med medical uh, care, education. I mean, you just look all the way through society and the in inequalities are vast. Uh, there is no parity. And this is really a very serious issue. And it's, it's, it's rather unfortunate in a way that the word feminism has in a way been uh, d d devalued to a sense. So I think it's very important that we, you know, it's wonderful that today Sky uh, is taking this very, very seriously. And we just, this is the kind of strengthening of focus that needs to happen before change can happen. And you're joining in with the march today in London. Uh, what about other events that are taking place across the world in support of this? You know, um, across this country, there are over 400 events taking place, which is just phenomenal, really. And in every country of the world, there are different things going on. And today we have this beautiful walking across the bridge. It's very symbolic. And we will be doing that as we did last year. But I think this time, this year, there are going to be so many more women turning out to, to, to show solidarity for the issues that women are having to face, the challenges that we're having to face. Annie, do you think there'll ever be an end to International Women's Day in that there'll be total equality one day? Because I always think there never really will be total equality because women have to take time out to have their children and bring up their families. And that always you know, sets you back if you're looking at it from a, maybe a career point of view. Yes, I understand that, but there's just still, still so much to be done. And if you look at some of the statistics that explain to you about all the issues that we've touched on here, then I think you'll understand that, that you know, this is not just a small thing. This is a huge thing, and it, we, we need to really, we need to focus on it. And Annie, high-profile supporters, you've got uh, Daniel Craig enlisted in it, which some people might be uh, rather amused to see his appearance in support of International Women's Day. Well, yes, he took part in a very beautiful uh, video that was made by Sam Taylor Wood. And, I mean, he is James Bond. He is the uh, absolute, you know, p ultimate macho man uh, and known to everyone across the world. And yet Daniel is representing himself as a woman from that perspective, you know. And I think it's just something, it's a lovely tool that will stop and make people think about the disparity. Annie Lennox, thanks very much for that. We wish you well with the march today and the rest of International Women's Day. Thanks for that. Thank you so much. And we have actually had a tweet from Eamon who says he's happy watching us in bed this morning, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's one way I thought he was water skiing. One way of celebrating International Women's Day, isn't it? <laughs> Michael Vaughan has tweeted.